So today I'm going to be doing something a little different, um, something a little new. Uh, today I'm going to be doing a tutorial on how to make GIFs. Um, many of you may know that I am a GIF maker, a uh, frequent poster of high quality GIFs on Reddit, and I like to think that I'm all right at it, at least all right enough to teach people how to do it. There's three things that are ideal to have. One is Photoshop, which is necessary. After Effects is going to be helpful, and obviously a video source, because you can't make GIFs without video. My video source today is going to be a clip from Wally. -E. Um, it's just a small little thing of him running over his little pal here. Squish simple. Um, so now that we've isolated that clip, we're going to have to pull it out of the larger video file. For my purposes, I like to use After Effects, but you can use anything um, like VLC player or anything with a record option to c trim down your video to what you want, because you don't want it much larger than what you're trying to get. For now, I'm going to speed things up a bit because you don't need to see me trim this video down. I'm not doing anything special in After Effects. This is just me selecting a time frame, an in point and out point, putting it into a timeline, and then exporting it to an AVI file so Photoshop can read it. Now we're going to jump over to Photoshop, um, which I didn't have booted up for some reason and we're going to import our video. In Photoshop you're going to want to go to File, Import Video Frames to Layers and select your video that you've trimmed down. Now we're in the uh, Video Frames to Layers tool. Uh, I would ignore the left panel. It doesn't do you much good. Uh, the main thing we're worried about are the sliders underneath the uh, timeline here to select the length of our video. Now good news is we've trimmed that down quite a bit um, so we don't need to worry about it. We can leave it at the max length and import it straight up. If your video segment is more than 500 frames, Photoshop will truncate that to 500 frames. So try to keep it short. Uh, so let's import ours. Now that's all uh, imported, we actually have a functioning GIF now. It can be exported immediately to GIF format, but there's a few things that uh, I want to take a look at and show you guys first. As you can see right now, we're working with the Timeline tab, which is a part of the Motion Workspace. Um, it's part of default as well, but Motion Workspace highlights it a little bit more for us. Um, the Timeline tab is where we're going to spend most of our effort. Uh, one thing you really need to be concerned about is your GIF's frame rate, which is at the bottom of each individual frame and is adjustable for each individual frame. By default, we want to run it at 0.04 for any video source that's about 24, 25 frames a second. Uh, this allows us to have a smooth frame rate. If you decide to slow it down or speed it up, that's up to you. Uh, 0 0.04 is the ideal for a standard frame rate. So now that we have all that, um, we're going to go to File, Save for Web, and we're going to save our GIF, finally. While we wait for this to load, let's take a look at the uh, right panel of the Save for Web interface. Uh, there's a few settings here that are important to get right. So all of these settings come directly from editing and layout subreddit so if you really need them you can go to our editing and layout and find them yourself. Preferably we would like to have our color reduction algorithm set to adaptive, our dither algorithm set to diffusion, transparency checked, no transparency dither and not interlaced. 
On the right, we want 256 colors, 100% dither, no matte, zero web snap, and zero lossy. On the bottom here, we have our image size settings. Uh, these are the first things that I changed to make a GIF smaller and more acceptable. Uh, because 1920 is way too large for a, uh, a GIF. So I usually scale it down because it brings down the GIF size dramatically without reducing your quality. Certain people have their own lower limits. Uh, for me, about 600 to 900 is mine. Uh, I'm going to set this one to 900 uh, in a little bit just to uh, trim it down by a significant amount. So now that we've changed that and clicked away from the box, it's going to reduce it for us. This takes a minute, but it should reduce it by something like 75% or so. The current GIF tournament upper limit is 20 megs. Uh, this adjustment has lowered it to under 18 megs, which is perfect for us. If you've reached your lower image size limit, uh, the size that you don't want to go below, you can adjust your colors, dither, web snap, and lossy to fine tune it to your requirements. If you go too far, you're going to be out of high quality GIF territory, but if you have to, it's what's it's what you have to do. So now that we've trimmed our GIF down to a decent size that's acceptable, we're pretty much done. Our frame rate's set, our size is set, and we can just save. Saving is as straightforward as it can possibly be. All you gotta do is pick a directory, name the file, and you're done. I'm just speeding things up for simplicity's sake. You guys don't need to see me save the file and name it. That's not important. Um, but once we're done, we have a working GIF. Uh, you can test it on your computer to see if it works out. It should if you follow those little steps. And now you can upload it wherever you like. This has been one relatively shitty tutorial from Unforgiven. Have fun. Make some nice gifts for me.